Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I am a fitness and lifestyle YouTuber. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a question and answer. I posted on my Instagram asking you guys to ask me any question and that I would provide as many answers as I could for you all. So I just spent a lot of time filming. It's actually gonna be a two part Q&A. This is the first part. We have a lot of great questions here. Also, if you're a regular on my channel, notice the semi setup. And I say semi setup because I'm really just taking messy action here. I would love to have the perfect set. And this is like a set in progress. Like I wanted to go to the store and get all these nice things, but I hope that I can be an example for you not to wait until it's perfect to start. Just start it and you will make it perfect as you go along and not perfect, but you will make it your best or your thing. We all know perfection doesn't really exist. So welcome to my messy action. This will improve and look better over time as I develop what I want my YouTube set to look like. But for now, sit back and enjoy the question and answer and I will see you guys at the end. First question is from Fierce Minds. I remember you said you were working on a book. How is that going? And when can we expect it to be released? LOL. <laughs> I haven't written in it in probably three months, to be honest. And the book that I started, I absolutely love. It's incredible, not to like toot my own horn or anything. But essentially the way that I'm writing it, it, that one won't be released anytime soon and I'm not like pressuring that one to get out because it's the way that I'm going about it and like the whole idea for the book, which I'm calling it a book right now, but I'm actually not sure if it's gonna stay a book or if it's gonna be something else. I have a lot of like really cool ideas and goals for that and it's, but that's like a very long-term thing because of the way that I'm doing everything. I do believe that I have another book in me that I need to write and I do believe that I've written some of it through my Evolve program. I actually wrote an entire like manuscript, I guess, and I thought I was gonna use that to create the videos, the content for my course, and I ended up going completely off of that. But when reading it, it's really well written, and I think there's something there. So also, life has been a little crazy, and to be able to write a book, you have to be able to have creative juices flowing, and they have not been flowing. They're now coming back, as you guys can see, uh, and I'm really excited about that. But yeah, it's really hard. When you're doing something like that and really wanting to create, you've really got to be in just pretty ideal circumstances, or you have to learn how to create within the non-ideal. But to be honest, I just have too much going on. And I've thought that either like run my business or be creative So I'm really really focusing on running my business and doing what I'm already doing and making sure I do it very well Which is my coaching through fitness and in life Casey Marie wants to know, when do you plan on sharing information about the boyfriend? So I've talked about the boyfriend before in my channel and expressed to you guys that I really just want to take it in my own time and I'm really enjoying having a private life and it's just been really nice for me. But I do want to talk more about this. The other day I was working out and I was filming it for YouTube and we decided to work out together. So he's actually in that video. So he's in a video coming up and I definitely want to talk more about that. Comment down below, yes please, if you would like me to do a video on heartbreak and then a video on on life after heartbreak. So comment down below, yes please, and let me know. Buff Bunny, aka Heidi, asks, do you miss competing? It's funny that you ask that. Last night I had a dream about competing and I did one pro show and I won and I was going to the Olympia and that's not even how they do anything anymore. And I have not even thought about competing like that, but it just shows me that I do miss it. And I think I had that dream because I recently watched an old YouTube video of mine and it was when I was competing and posing and I just had this like, oh, like I do, I miss it a little bit. I just, I'm not willing to do what is required to my health in order to get on stage again. And that's just where I'm at right now. If you guys didn't see the video where I talked about will I be competing again, spoiler alert, answer is no, uh, go ahead and watch that video. It's just a few videos back. Buff Bunny at it with the hard questions. Thanks girl. <laughs> I think good friends ask really hard questions, especially for YouTube and things like that because they know it's probably what's gonna make the video really good. Her question was, were you scared to open up your heart again after breakup? I don't think scared is a scared enough word for how I felt and there was definitely a lot of fear There's definitely a lot of walls and I say was but I think there I think I just continue to break through fear and I continue to break down walls over and over and I think that I'm at the hundred percent and then I come across and I find a new wall and I'm like I didn't know that wall was there <laughs> and I gotta work past that again So it's been incredibly difficult. It has been an incredibly long journey and to be honest would I date me? Would I deal with all those walls and fear and I don't know so props to the boyfriend. More on that soon. Yo Yo It's Ray Ray asked, what would you tell yourself a year ago that you wish you knew then? Exactly a year ago this time, I actually watched some YouTube videos that I was posting during this time and I look back and I'm immediately taken to that moment and I was just experiencing a lot of hurt and I was just very hopeful that the hurt and the sadness and all of that and the heartbreak that it wouldn't be there anymore but it was very much still there and I was just hopeful. So I'd go back and tell myself, you don't have to be hopeful know for sure this is not gonna last it's gonna be okay and I would just I would tell myself that 
Taylor wanted to know, did you enjoy your teenage years? Yeah, I had incredible teenage years. I have a big family, close-knit family. We did all sorts of things together. I remember going on camping trips with my dad. My dad was always super involved in all of our sports. We had a ton of really, really great times as a family. So I think everyone knows that there was also a lot of really hard times, but I think that's like any family and regardless of what degree they were at, there were still great times. There was amazing times and I'm really, really thankful for those. Simeon Fit wants to know, what do you do for fun outside of the gym? I like to hike. I love anything active. I like to go to the beach. Uh, I actually love going to see movies. I forgot that I really enjoyed that because I got really comfortable just staying inside, like in sloth mode, you know, eating my own snacks. And then I went to the movies recently and now I've gone like, I think I've gone two or three times in like the last month or something. So I really enjoy going to see movies, but because we live in California, there's so many different things to do. So I'm kind of like an explorer. I like to explore different things things, go on adventures. I love having a day off from the gym so I can be active just in everyday real life. Uh, I love to ride bikes by the boardwalk or longboard. I love to longboard when there's like nice smooth concrete. So yeah, just anything active, honestly. Brianna, what's your favorite lift or workout right now? I think my favorite time going into the gym is probably when I focus on all the really hard things that I don't necessarily love to do, but afterwards I feel the best from it. So meaning I kind of do enjoy doing like a bodybuilder style where workout but I don't always get like this insane feeling after however if I do like a plyometrics full body all the hard things in one session I do feel like amazing like I can conquer the world after so I think that's the most fun as well as sessions when I'm practicing my handstands I love doing that and I'm really terrible at the handstands just so you know maybe I'll send a clip if I can remember it's really embarrassing but the point is one day it will not be that bad KG Fords asks what are five songs you always like to hear when you're working out and I actually just listened to SoundCloud and I listen to live sets of dubstep, EDM, like trap, house, pretty much anything. But I really like Nightmare, Slander, Kill the Noise, Snake. I could go on. <laughs> Brianna asked, what other career could you see yourself doing if you weren't in fitness and your Evolve course? 100% without a doubt, acting and movies and something on TV. I would be like doing some sort of role like that. That would be absolutely amazing. And I'm still very much so interested in it. I just, I keep learning time and time again that I can't do everything all at once. Davy Dumbbells, did you ever have a problem in the beginning of your journey with friends and family supporting or understanding what you were trying to accomplish? Absolutely. I had friends and then I had like acquaintances or people at work that would kind of like make fun of what I did or say like just, you know, kind of those like backhanded compliments or like they just have like a bad tone with them. They like didn't really support me. In other words, they weren't someone, you know, by my side saying like, that's amazing. Like, that's so cool that you're so into that. You know, go for it. You can do it. I didn't have that. And yeah, honestly, the way that I deal with that is one, if they're a really close friend, have a heart to heart, good conversation with them. If they're not a really close friend, don't take it personally and just know that you don't have to express anger or hate or resentment or whatever back to them if that's what they're expressing to you. Just know that that friend is probably not for you and kind of give them love like from a distance, like one of those like likes that you like, you know, go like that with. That's me doing a basketball. Can you answer a basketball? <laughs> BeFit wants to know, how do you get your captions so aligned on Instagram? Please share the secret. Mine look pretty typed out, but as soon as I post, it's all over the place. So there's a few different ways that you can do it. There is an actual like space that you can like copy, but I lose it all the time. So I just actually use a period. So what I'll do is I'll type out a sentence and then when I want to do like a line or do a blank line and then another sentence, I'll write out a sentence and make sure that there's not a space at the end of that sentence. Even if you don't press space, sometimes the iPhone just like creates a space there and then you press enter, you do a period and then enter again and do the new line. So you just have to make sure that there's no spaces and use periods as the line break. A Fit and Fabulous Michelle says, what's your favorite thing to do outside of Instagram? And I would say absolutely everything and anything and life in general, because Instagram is not my life actually. It's the smallest part of my life actually. So that's why I love YouTube, definitely shows a bigger part of my life. And if you guys haven't noticed, getting into podcasting and that's gonna show probably even more of my life or let me like express things more. So my favorite thing to do is to live my life and then just choose what I wanna share on Instagram because Instagram is not my life and if it died tomorrow, big part of me would be really happy to be totally honest. <laughs> I would still reach out to you guys through like YouTube and podcasting and stuff but it would not be missed by this girl whatsoever at all. Sorry, Instagram. 
Armando Martinez says, I've been working out for two years and got awesome results. My girl wants to work out and work on her body. She told me she doesn't want me to see her working out. I don't know why. Any advice? Armando, if she's new to working out, she may just be a little insecure or maybe a little unsure of herself or maybe feel embarrassed. Those are all very normal for beginners, for guys and girls. And especially being her boyfriend, you would think that maybe she would come to you and want you to help her, but maybe she just kind of feels, I don't know, just a little embarrassed about it or a little insecure right now. But the more that she does it, the more secure that she'll get and she'll feel better about it. And eventually maybe you guys will be working out together. I'd say for right now, don't pressure her into anything. Maybe if she has another friend that works out, encourage her to work out with her that could build her confidence or maybe if she's able to and she's super beginner or not even beginner like anyone would benefit from a trainer but get her a trainer or see if she can work with the trainer once or twice the whole thing that she needs to gain is confidence once she gains confidence she'll have no problem working out in front of you but right now allow her that little transition period of getting used to it doing something new and seeing if she likes it or not Aaron said, at what point did you realize what you were meant to do for a career? Did you have an aha moment or a series of events that led you to the realization? So when I was a little girl, I was 100% sure that I was going to be a heart surgeon and I knew I wanted to be a doctor and I was fascinated by the heart and surgeon just sounded amazing and like, I don't know, and I always watched all of the like surgery shows on TV and I was like, I wanna do that. And part of me wanted to be like an ER, you know, surgeon specialist because I, I thrive under pressure. Okay, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I had to make sure my camera didn't turn off. I can't see when it's on and off, so if I'm in the middle of a 30 minute video and it turns off, it's like not good news. Back to your question. So I thought I was gonna be a heart surgeon the entire time. I knew that I loved people, I wanted to help people. I would say throughout college I identified, hmm, I don't want the lifestyle of a surgeon. <laughs> That's not the lifestyle that fits with me. So I went a different route and I graduated with sociology and I've always been super into lifting and working out and exercise. So after I graduated, I opened a women's fitness boot camp and it was groups of eight women at a time and I would train them out of my garage gym that I made. I invested a lot of money into that with all the equipment and immediately it was pretty successful because I lived in a college town and I was always the fitness go-to in my circle. So I was really blessed with those clients and when I did that I realized that I had a future in fitness I had a future in helping women specifically and that it was just something that I was really passionate about because I saw how something so simple like fitness could change someone's entire life it could change the student that they were at school it could change the employee that they were at work it could change the girlfriend the wife or whatever it could change all the roles that they have in life simply by deciding hmm I'm gonna go be active today and it's just one little step one step after one after another that leads to that snowball effect of them literally changing their lives. So I think it's always just been a continued series of realizations and I would say I'm still figuring it out. Like I love what I'm doing now. I'm coaching with fitness and with life and lifestyle transformation. I do Instagram, I do YouTube, I'm doing podcasts now and I'm loving it. But I feel like I'll continue to unravel exactly like what I was meant to be doing. I know right now for this season of life that this is it and I know that it's going to grow and develop from there. So I'm really excited to see that happen. Kelsey Means said, love this photo. Thanks girl. When you were called to evolve, did you find it to be more of a feeling or a knowing? So I expressed that back in December 2016 or 17, I don't remember, it's one of those. I, I had this like overwhelming feeling that I was to, I was gonna have to evolve to reach the next level of my life and that just, with everything life was giving me that I needed to evolve. I couldn't stay the same essentially. And it was very much so a knowing. It wasn't just a feeling, it was a everything in me knew I was going to need to evolve to continue on with where I was headed in life. I was either going to one, evolve and go to the next level or two, remain the same and never change and live in what I'm living in forever. And that was not an option for me. Daniel wants to know, did I customize those jeans? And a few other people asked where the jeans are from. I get most of my jeans from Fashion Nova. Absolutely love it. I would say that they fit the legs and the butt really well. The waist is always a little bit big, but I'll say that they fit the butt and the legs way better than other companies and there are some styles that fit everything pretty well and then there's other styles that the waist is just a little bit big. I am currently 133 pounds, 5'5", five five. I think that's all you need to know. Oh, size 5 is what I get at Fashion Nova. So the size 5 in most fits pretty well. Like I said, in some it'll be a little bit more cinched in at the waist and in others I kind of have to pull them up but I like how they look on the legs and the butt. And other jeans just, I don't know, I haven't found other better jeans so those are what I'm wearing all the time now. I got quite a few questions. Uh, this one's from C. Fit. What's your view or thoughts on breast implant illness? Have you ever experienced symptoms? So my view on it is it's a thousand percent a real thing. Hello, there are 
thousands of people dealing with it. And I got a few questions on like, what do you think about the trend of it or the hot topic of it right now? I'm not sure what you're like inferring by that or you know what that means. My viewpoint on it is it's a real thing. It can really affect people. I'm really, really glad that there are so many people speaking out about it and sharing their experiences and I commend the hell out of them. Like I know the kind of support and the kind of hate that they're getting and I, I know what kind of position that puts them in. So thank you guys for putting that out there. My personal experience, I don't believe that I've experienced anything from it. If I ever did or if I started to feel like I did or I experienced all of it, I would get them out immediately, like no questions asked. I will say from my own personal experience that I feel that I was incredibly uninformed when I made that decision for myself. I've always said that it was the best decision I made for myself because I thought it was like all fine and dandy and now I'm just learning all the risks and knowing the risks I would never ever have done that at all surgery at all like I was happy and loved myself before and then I just thought it would like enhance my life and like be even cooler and better and make me feel like myself again because I had always had like big boobs naturally and then even through fitness before I started competing so that's one thing people ask me I never in a million years did it for competing it was before I started competing that I was like I won't do cardio because I lose my boobs and I love my boobs and then eventually I got more into fitness and I was like I like doing cardio and I, I do want to shape up a little bit and then I like lost some of my natural tissue So for me doing that was just to make me feel like myself again But long story to say that I would not do it again knowing what I know now just because I wouldn't risk it I don't believe that I have experienced any symptoms But if I did I would take action on that and then three I actually had no idea that you had to get surgery again after you get them because you have to get a new surgery a new set of implants every I believe 10 or 15 so so when that time comes, I will not be putting them back in my body. C5Fit says, what are your tips on going from competing to everyday life and switching your mindset to love your body and not worry about so many numbers, the macro and scale wise? I would say number one, it is such a process and such a long journey if you have been competing for a while. Even if you haven't been competing for a while, it can be a bit of a longer journey than you might like it to be. And I would say that I went through different phases and different seasons and now, oh my goodness, I feel better than I've ever felt felt and I don't think that I would ever sacrifice my balance, my love for myself, how I feel, my fitness, my health. I wouldn't sacrifice that for anything at this point. But I would say that there was a time where it was really, really difficult. There's different seasons that you have to go through. So if you're like immediately post-show, the best thing you could do is probably reverse diet so that you can slowly introduce yourself to new foods and you're going to still have to count macros. Again, that's your choice. You don't have to, but if you're somebody that wants to minimize extra fat gain and if you're somebody that struggles with moderation, then maybe tracking macros is a good option for you so I'm not gonna say there's like one way to do everything but I've just I've experienced it from all sorts of spectrums and I remember even in January of this year I felt so uncomfortable in my skin I chose to love myself anyways and I wasn't negative about it and I wouldn't allow myself to focus on those negative thoughts but I definitely was not happy with how I looked or felt like I just didn't feel healthy like I just I just felt like big for myself and I didn't feel like myself and so and I'm going to make a video talking about this later this is a separate topic but essentially I tried dieting a few times this year and it just didn't work no matter what I did it just it wasn't working and I had to go way lower in macros than what I was willing in order to see any progress and I was like the whole point of me not competing is so that I can live my healthy active fit lifestyle and you know I'm not gonna start eating competing style macros just to feel good so my biggest thing was that I had to stop dieting I had to love myself for where I currently was and I just had to be consistent with whatever I was doing making no progress no physical progress was made but a lot of mental progress was made I learned to love myself no matter what I learned to be comfortable in skin that maybe I wasn't that comfortable in and eventually it just kind of just happened over a long period of time to where I like maybe lost half a pound without noticing and that kept happening and now like I feel like I'm back to myself again and I'm so happy <laughs> like I'm like Whoa, pouring out all of this love like hearts for everyone like Oprah and it's just it's taken a long time so allow yourself time and be patient Rachel Marie asks, how do you deal with a mental illness such as depression or anxiety? I do not have a mental illness, so I cannot speak on that. I'm also not an expert or a counselor or a therapist. I will look for counselor slash therapist line or number or link and also a suicide hotline, not inferring anything, but for anyone that is watching this that might need those resources, they'll be in the description box below. I would just say that if you're experiencing a mental illness, go seek help, go seek professional help. Don't just talk to your friends, don't just get advice 
advice from YouTubers, go seek professional help and get the help that you need so you can start making progress. If you realize that you're in this negative cycle and you're not making any progress, you've got to go get outside help. Getting outside help might make you just take one tiny little forward positive step and that small forward positive step may be what gets you out of that vicious cycle. So really encouraging you to seek help that you need. I know it will help you so much. Clark says, how do you stay motivated? And I was really thinking about this in relation to my fitness, business, relationships, friendships, and it really comes down to, I have to have a really compelling why. And I don't know that that's kind of cliche to say, like your why needs to be really strong, but it really makes sense when you think about it. Like why did I go to the gym this morning before a full scheduled day of like so much going on? And it's because I feel my best. I feel great, I feel like the best productive human, and I like to feel active and healthy and fit and going to the gym produces that feeling so that's why I went to the gym this morning with my business why I'm sitting here making a YouTube video that essentially is not paid for like I have to pay to get this edited and I had to pay for that tripod and that camera and that and that why do I do this and it's because I feel like no matter what in business no matter what Avenue I've taken my reason has always been the same I have this like overwhelming sense of joy when I can help be a part of the change in anyone's life whether that's through a fitness program and you know, got them active and healthy and now they feel confident in their body because now they're going to be a more positive, productive human. Maybe it's in their life journey and we literally address, you know, how the way that they do things, the system and the habits that they have right now in their everyday life. And I help them change those systems and habits to more positive ones and help them change their overall mindset. That gives me so much fulfillment. On YouTube, like I get so many comments of people saying, I'm going through a really hard time and your positivity is helping me get through this hard time. And that's my why. If I didn't have any of that, if I wasn't helping people, if this was not providing some sort of benefit for anybody, I would not be doing this. So my whys for my business, my relationships, my fitness, my whys are so strong that it, it keeps me going. There's always ups and downs regardless of what you're doing, but my why keeps me going through the really, really difficult times as well. I gotta do a coaching call and I will be right back. This is for my 30 day find your lifestyle challenge, the fitness part of my business. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back for more questions. Yay! Hi guys! Hi! How are you? And I'm so glad you guys made it! So, welcome to the first group coaching call. I'm so excited to have all of you wonderful people and the group and on the call. I have to tell you, as a coach, it makes me feel so much more connected to you guys to be able to do this in videos or, or phone if you're on the phone. So, thank you guys so much for being here. It like makes my job even more fun. So, I'm glad that we are able to do these. Everyone say hi to my YouTube channel real quick. Say hello! Okay, they said hi, but their audio is off. I'm gonna turn them off real quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up the question and answer part one. Be sure to tune in for part two. You can go ahead and just press subscribe. Click on the little bell button if you wanna be alerted when I post the next video. We talk about a lot of really great things in part two, so you don't wanna miss it. All right, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.